National Universities Commission don't discover 100 fake professors across Nigerian universities. Federal government don't condemn attack against Nigerian business people inside Ghana. Police don't declare Nnam the Kano lawyer wanted on top killing of police officers. And they don't discover 11 dead body for one boot with them abandoned inside River State. My country people, now good evening this evening and thank you say you the part of the news as it take happen. My name is Nna Douglas. And for the first story, President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday don't advise Nigerian soldiers to make them keep to the rules of engagement and international code of conduct when they do their soldier work according by the constitution. President Buhari yanned this one for the yearly chief of army staff conference inside Kaduna on Tuesday. Oga Buhari can they hail the army for the kind work work they do to keep the country safe from bad people will be terrorists. He can tell the soldiers say, make them continue to they follow the rule of engagement and code of conduct and make them make sure say, they promote human rights and international humanitarian laws plus including to the respect operations we consign military. And for the meantime, one joint body of universities, whether they call National Universities Commission, NUC, talks say they don't discover 100 fake professors from many universities inside the country. Executive Secretary of NUC, Professor Abubakar Rashid, now talk this one for one informate material with the commission published inside November. Professor Rashid revealed this one for the yearly retreat for vice chancellors of all universities inside the country will happen between October 28 and November 5 for NUC headquarters inside Abuja. He explains say all the informators they consign these fake professors, then post them inside the website of the commission. We make them send the names of the fake professors to many universities for them to do their ground work. Professor Rashid talks say the fight against fake professors now everybody business. He talks that some kind things no pure for some private universities, plus issue of person will never teach for two years, but they can't make a professor. As it be, the NUC, Seke Konde beg vice chancellors say, make them no fail to give them information where they get about fake professors for their different universities and their own environment. And one joint body, Organization of Nigerian People Where They Live for Overseas, where they call Nigerians and Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, don't condemn the one where we say Ghana people, they attack Nigerian business people inside Ghana. They say this behavior no not necessary at all. Chiamo for the commission, Abike Dabri Erewa, now she condemned the attack on top one statement where we say now NITCOM head of media and public relations, Abdurrahman Balogun issue. She talks say the news of this new attack against Nigerian where they do business for inside Ghana, it no sweet for ear at all and it they unfortunate. According by her, this kind of Yamanyama attack they happen now will be say xenophobia no day popular at all. Madam Abike can they beg Nigerians where they live for Ghana, especially people will get shop, say make them no retaliate at all, but make them maintain calm and allow police people for Ghana take charge on top of the matter. When I fit remember say for Monday, December 2, then me report say fight will be happen between Ghana people and Nigerian businessmen don't injure some people. The fight happened sake of say some Ghana people will not like Nigerian people face. Begin close shop will belong to Nigerians inside the Kwame Nkrumah cycle for Ghana. And for the next story, police authority inside Anambra State don't declare one barrister Ifani Ejofo will be lawyer to the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdekano, wanted. Many say police don't they use Oyokomita, the final. Commissioner of Police inside the state, John Abang, now he this one for one video where they go viral on Tuesday. This one comes, comes sake of one big way happened for Orifite town, where allow some IPOP members caput two police officers, according by the allegation. Abang, come the beg in their number, say make them a beg, give police or security people join, or join body informate, we go help them locate barrister Ifani Ejofo. And for the next story, we no sweet belly at all. They don't discover about 11 dead body inside one boat with an abandoned inside Jerusalem Creek near Keklan for Degema local government area inside River State. The suspects say now pirates, that is criminals, where they operate for waterways, now then caput these people. According by person, we bring the informate. Now some security people where they do patrol for waterways on Sunday, now then discover the dead body. 
then also see one AK-47 gun inside the boat. As at the time, when they see the dead body, they never still know who them be. Report talks say some suspected pirates who have been there near the boat where the dead body day come from most come out for the area as soon as they sight security people when they reach uh, when they, they reach them. But when they reach them to choke them out on top of the matter, the state police talk talk person, Nam the Omoni talk say they never confirm the story at all. My people, even though Abuja people don't they cry, they tell federal government, uh, federal capital territory administration, that is FCTA. So they make them change their mind, bring back Kekin and Pep, uh, where they ban to operate for some kind of places inside town. FCTA don't insist, say, as in, it, as in Tokam, now so it go be, meaning say, they no go revise the order. They can't advise them, say, make them drive their KK only for areas where they permit them to operate. The authority on Wednesday being escort KK will pass 200 as they relocate from Abuja main town to Kuba satellite town with police escort. Our correspondent, John Emmanuel, get more gist on top of this one. After the ban, when the Sama Kekenapep riders for some areas of Abuja, now so 200 of them can't find their way in Takubwa, will be one of the places where they approve for them to walk. The Kekenapep leaders join body, go meet the FCT ministers, say, making help them with police escort so that they go escort them go Kubwa and the minister no disappoint them for this appeal where they make. Some officials of the Federal Capital Territory Administration get advice for these over 200 Kekenapep riders with Zoom in South Kubwa. My advice to them, they should always be a law-abiding citizen and uh, make sure that uh, they obtain necessary documents for their keke to operate peacefully. Especially, they should have a license that uh, covers them. If to bring in the Kekena Pep into one of the areas where they are supposed to operate. Presently, we are in Kubwa. You know, there's a restriction that has started within the FCC. And Kuba is part of where they can operate. That's why we are here. Musa Ibrahim will be the leader of this Kekena Pep Riders. Talk so he will make sure say he members operate for Kuba according to the law. We assure him that we are going to work together and uh, we are going to work in synergy to make sure that we sanitize our boys, our members to work peacefully within the ambit of the law. Since we then ban Kekena Pep for some areas of Abuja, People don't they cry, they give FCT minister about they can suffer with their IDC for transportation matter. So they should consider us as Nigeria. It's not all of us that have car. We are praying to have our own car. But this is the only little mobile things that we can use. So they're supposed to help us at least so that let this, uh, because we, 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 we that we are working as a uh, all this uh, company work that we are working, they are not paying us enough money and we will not get enough job for Abuja here. Some of them even they beg, say may them bring back Kekena pay people because of how they make transportation they easy for them within the city. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And from Abuja, make we enter Kano. Market people for Abubakar Remi Market, where they popular with the name Sabongeri Market for Fage local government area inside Kano State, they don't they beg say make them reduce the money, where then they charge them on top of the solar light, where then wire inside the market. On a fit, remember, say as part of their plan to improve light inside the country, federal government don't they wire solar light for major markets across the country, and Kano follow for the states where they benefit on top of the plan. Some market people will talk, talk say they like the idea of the so solar light inside the market, but the one will be saying they collect plenty of money for the light, nah, the one way they don't like at all. And because of this one, they don't they beg government say, make them reduce them, I beg. Solar is good. Very okay, but it's costly to us here in the Sabangiri market. So we love it than Nepal to avoid the fire incident on the ninth or taking out fire and bringing this and that. So I prefer solar. Be honest, where this solar energy is affecting us is the price. You know, formerly we pay 1,000 naira every week, which in a month is 4,000 naira, and now we pay 2,005 every week, 
which amounts to 10,000 Naira in a month. And to be honest, it's very appalling. And compared to the situation of the market now, that the business is very poor, it, it, it will cause someone not to like afford to pay it. In the solar, the light is good, the supply light normal, but just the cost, they charge too much. If you want to get as in the normal light you need, that will help you to charge your phone and all that thing. The cost is just too much. It's too high. Any other thing apart from that, the light is okay. When they talking on, the Emir of Abuba Karimi Market, Nafio Yusuf Ndabo, also agree with the market people say, true, true, the money for the solar light too much and make authorities chook eyes for the matter. Right now, many people who talk about the money is too much. You know, there is different, different side of the solar. There is one with three bulb with one fan, 1,000 weekly. The one with four bulb with, with two fan is 2,000 naira weekly. It depends on the capacity of the shop. But normally the price is too much. I would like to call in attention of the management of Muhammad Abu Kariu Market to call the company, Ransos Company, talk to the company and reduce the price of the solar. And when they react on top of this one, business manager for Sabongiri Energy Solutions, Nalat Muda, talks say, before they put the light, they be done meet with Obunge and Kajak people inside the market, the one where Oyibo they call stakeholders. He talks say different shops get different plants with favor, with favor the condition of their market. My people, on a still day on top as it take happen for Wazobia Max TV, we they come back with business news. And on top business news today, World Bank talks say the number of Nigerians who they live inside bad poverty fit increase to more than 30 million by 2030. And sake of this one, Nigeria will be home to 25% of people where poverty don't show pepper inside the world. That is, if government fail to grow the economy and give people work. Then one say Nigeria fit enter inside recession if crude oil fall by 25% to $50 per barrel. You remember, say, international oil benchmark been sell Brent crude around $61 per barrel on Monday. The World Bank summer the warning for their 2019 Nigeria Economic Update Report were then released on Monday. Then talk, say, the economy and the way we then see the population, now make them, they want, say, make them bring some kind of changes in, on top of the economy. And the World Bank can tell President Muhammad Buhari, say, making increase local revenue remove what in Oyibo they call trade restrictions and improve some kind of predictions on top economic policy. It remains sports news with a comeback. <music> and on top sports news, Ogak Patapata, that is president for Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, and Maju Pinik Toxi, it will make sense if they make England under 21 player Ebere Eze play for the Super Eagles, say in addition go improve the squad, no be small. NFF, they hope to convince the Queen's Park Rangers midfielder to play for them instead of to play for England for senior level. Eze will be said them born for England by Nigerian parents, play two times for the Three Lions for under 21 level for inside November. But Pinnick won't make as a play for the Super Eagles midfield as he will boost Nigerian midfield, especially now, when they plan uh, or they prepare for the 2022 World Cup for Qatar. As a now one player where they born for Britain, alongside Ola Aino and Chuka Akbom, will be say they invite them to train with the Nigerian squad for London as far back as March 2017. But they've been cancelled the friendly match when Nigeria was supposed to play against Burkina Faso that time. My people know the story be that, but make I tell you now, waiting uh, be our top story again. <music> National Universities Commission don't discover 100 fake professors across Nigerian universities. Federal government don't condemn attack against Nigerian business people inside Ghana. And we tell you, say, police don't declare Nnam the Kano lawyer. Wanted, Nam the Kano lawyer wanted on top the killing of police officers. And they don't discover 11 dead bodies for one boat with an abandoned inside River State. 
My people, now the size of our package with that. And thank you, say you're part of the program. My name is Nna Douglas. Una good evening.